So if you're planning to filter or remove entire columns from the data model after you have imported them, it's really very easy to do. So at the moment we're in the Excel window. I'm on the Power Pivot tab and I'm just going to click on the Manage button just to return back to the data model. I'm going to select the sales sheet and I'm going to click up here onto the Design tab. And if we just go along to the Tables property, if we click here, we've got a problem, guys. Now, if you're looking at the user guide on page 14, you'll see a screenshot. Actually, I'll just bring it over for you. Now, unfortunately, over on the right hand side under the switch to, we're currently stuck on the query editor, which is greyed out. Now, I don't know whether this is applying to F3 version of Excel, but I'm actually using Excel 2016 standalone. And I know that the 365 versions are having the same problem as well, that we're stuck on query editor and there's no way that we can select because it's greyed out. But it should be that we can click on the drop down and select table preview and we get the, the, the screen that we're used to, that when we're importing tables, we get the snapshot of all the columns and we can select and deselect. Now I reported this back in October of 2016 to Microsoft and just a few weeks ago I got an email to say that yes it is indeed a bug and they have passed it along to their engineers but they think it will be March before we see a fix which is causing quite a few problems because we have to be really quite careful of how we import our data until the fix is in place. Now the only workaround that I have found is by doing the following. So let's cancel out of that. We're going to go to the home button and we're going to go to existing connections on the get external data group. So if we click on that, I haven't seen this screen before, but we've, we're only doing this because of the bug. It's, it really is causing a bit of a problem for us. Now we can see here that the existing connection is indeed showing us an Access AdventureWorks connection and there's the path. And we're going to click on Open and we're back to where we started with importing tables or queries. So select from a list of tables. We've seen this screen before. We click on Next and we're going to choose to re-import the sales table. Now this is just the workaround. Now you can see the friendly name has automatically gone to sales one because we already have a sales table and we are going to go to preview and filter. This is the screen that you should see when we go to the design ribbon and table properties. Now we're going to go all the way along and under region month ID, we're going to select the drop down and we filter out Southwest 9 and 10. So Southwest 9, there we go. And Southwest 10, just keep it up above. And we're going to click on OK. So the next part of question four is to remove a column, you uncheck the tick in the column order date key. So let's find order date key. and it's the third column along, order date key. So we don't want to include that, we don't want to import that. So we'll click on OK, and then we're just going to finish. So we've got 58,622 columns. So from the existing sales table that we imported, we can see there's a significant drop in that. So that's looking good. So if we click on close now, we've got sales and sales one. So just to reiterate there, this is just a workaround until Microsoft fix the bug that they anticipate will be in place in March. And we can see that order date key is not in our import. And if we go along to the region ID and click on the drop down, we'll see that Southwest 9 and Southwest 10 will not be there. So we've got Southeast 10, but we haven't got a 10 or a 9 under Southwest. So filtering and removing columns did work. However, we have sales and we have sales one. So to delete a whole sheet, it's very easy to do, as is 
deleting just columns. I'll just show you that now. For example, we filtered from sales one, southwest nine and ten. But if I wanted to get rid of the entire field or the column, I just have to select it, right click, and we've got delete columns. Just as you expect in Excel, we've got, are you sure you want to permanently delete? We do, and the column has gone. But to delete the whole table, just going to right click down on the tab and click on delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this table, including any associated measures? This is one of the major problems that the Microsoft community reported to Microsoft, because although this is a workaround, if we were heavily into our Power Pivot journey and we had many measures on this, this sheet, then we would be losing all of our measures. So it's really imperative that Microsoft include that fix very, very quickly. But in the meantime, we all just have to say, yes, we do. If we had any measures on that sheet, any calculations, then we would have lost those. The only thing left for us to do is right click and rename that sheet and we'll get rid of the one and we're back to where we want to be, albeit round the houses. Now, moving on to page 15, we've already seen a little bit how, <laughs> how to do this by using existing connections, but to add tables to the data model from the same source. Again, we're going to go up to the Home tab, onto Existing Connections. So we'll connect back to our AdventureWorks database and we'll click on open. And again, we select from a list of tables, we click on next. And this time, instead of filtering a table, we'll select a new table, which is the calendar table. I'm happy with the friendly name. We can preview and filter again and deselect or filter any of the columns before we import, but we're quite happy to import the whole table We've got 1,280 rows and we'll just click on close. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about calendars and calendar tables. And if you don't have a separate calendar table, I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch in Excel in the bonus exercise. Okay, so if we were going to keep this table, maybe we don't want fiscal, the fiscal columns. We could have filtered those out when we were importing the data, but we were perhaps in a bit of a rush, for example, we've brought them all in and we don't need these columns, so we can just select all of them and delete the columns. So it's very flexible, you know, the way that we can import, filter data into the data model. And again, if we want to delete the, the, the table, we don't have any use for it, you just right click on the sheet and we can delete so the next thing guys is on page 16 of the user guide is the practice exercise and I'm going to hand over to you now. You're going to be editing the data source. Do as much as you can in the practice exercise. I'll provide a solution for you in the next video. So give it a go. Pause the video now because the next video lecture you'll see will be the solution. So give yourself a few minutes to go through that exercise. This is an opportunity for you to consolidate and embed all of the knowledge that you've gained so far. And I'll see you in section two.